And Cabell County Schools have a new initiative this week to get ahead of COVID in schools. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis has the latest on their efforts. Natalie. COVID-19 transmission is still high throughout Cabell County. On top of mandatory masks and social distancing, the local school district is taking one extra step to try to keep kids safe and in school. Random, voluntary COVID-19 testing of students is beginning in Cabell County Schools. Our testing has started today. We sent out uh, permission slips a couple of weeks ago. What we'll be doing is testing 10% of the ones that are in the pool to check and see if they're positive. School officials say so far the program is well received. It is voluntary. It's not that you have to do it and there's no pressure if you don't want to do it because I understand you know people's rights to privacy and I totally understand that as well. I always think that any anytime you can explain the why behind something it really helps to kind of reduce the anxiety of why we're doing this and it's to be proactive and kind of help reduce that transmission rate. Every day five or six different schools in the district will undergo random testing of those who consented using a PCR saliva test. The sample will be processed by Q Labs, giving parents, schools, and health agencies access to the results in 24 to 48 hours. Our goal is to identify those that are positive without showing symptoms right now. And in turn, keep more students from getting infected. School officials tell us they see this voluntary random COVID-19 testing program as being beneficial not only for the health of their students, but for their families as well. Testing our students at schools could also have a positive impact on the community as well with families that may not know, you know, with their child and maybe it would encourage them to also maybe get tested to kind of help reduce that transmission of the virus okay. too. As for the students themselves, Colley Smith's parents and Principal Maynard gave us permission to speak with Colley about her point of view. I don't really trust COVID right now because, you know, it's, it's going around in the school and it would help more if we know who has COVID and then they can go home. Cabell County authorities hope this prevents more outbreaks from interrupting the school year. They say they'll continue to collect those permission slips from parents if they want to add their children to the random testing pool. In Huntington, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you.